All right, so I did something very, very bad. I made a big owie. So we'll talk about this in a second. But uh, in my travels around the universe, I may have accidentally attract, uh, attacked someone else. Uh, not only did I attack someone else, I accidentally murdered a man in cold blood. Um, <laughs> what I mean by this is, uh, in this particular system, Wolf 1481, when I was dog fighting around trying to get some bounties, um, I saw a scuffle going on in the distance, and uh, there was a Diamondback Explorer. Now, at that range, I couldn't exactly tell who was shooting at who, and the ship I was aiming at was uh, kind of low on health, and I may have fired my cannons, which, by some stroke of luck, actually managed to hit the damn thing blow it up, thus landing me with a $6,000 bounty for attacking and killing someone. And so I've been banished for five days from the Wolf 1481 system until my bounty goes away. No way am I going to be able to get over there. I probably might be able to actually go, but it's suicide, considering that, well, they would shoot me on sight as soon as I try to go in there to claim the bounty. So I got like $62,000, 63, pardon me, Maybe a bit more or less. I don't want to do the math right now. Just lying out there, and I can't do anything about it. Well, anyways, this is my new ship. I managed to buy a Cobra Mark III. This was uh, like for about mm, what, three hundred fifty thousand credits. It's been serving me pretty good right now. So the purpose of this video right now is going to be combat focused. I'm trying to earn some money right now to earn a uh, discovery scanner. One of the cool things about the Cobra Mark III is that it's a kind of a jack-of-all-trades ship, so it's kind of good for um, trading, it's kind of good for combat, but it's also kind of good for exploration. So, what I'm going to be doing is waiting to earn enough money to... Can we get out? To earn enough money to be able to afford a discovery scanner that's good enough to identify most planets in the system. I do that, and now things will be a little bit easier to make a, to make some money. I've also got, let's see if I can see it here, a detailed surface scanner. So when I, so when I go to a new system, if I want to scan a planet that's anything but an ice, uh, an ice dwarf, I can ensure that I can get, a, I think it's a 50% extra, or is it 50? No, it was about uh, 30, 30%. I think it's 30% extra on the Discovery. Oh, but... 79,000 light seconds? Who's got the time to even go that distance? It'll only take like about maybe 20, 30 minutes to get there. So let's see. Wolf 1481 is so incredibly off limits right now, it's not funny. I guess I'll go to Alpha Centauri. Actually, hang on a second. What's closer by? Ross is off limit. Bernard Star. Where do I want to go? I'm going to assume... Uh, geez. Oh, let's just go to Alpha Centauri already. Quit messing around. So the Cobra's been serving me well right now. It's a bit of a beast in combat. Especially with the medium-sized uh, medium sized lasers that I got equipped. And the cannons. Which do decent amount of damage, quite decent. Except for the firing arc sometimes passes um, through the ship's nose because I assume they're on the bottom. It's a little unfortunate, but if I'm trying to follow a ship, I can, I can really hammer it. And I'm hoping to actually demonstrate that to you. I would really like some money. Man, you really know switching down to 720p. As I've stated before, I switched down to 720p when recording this game because it gets me to 60 frames a second, but the game's fully capable of being run in 1080p. I play it all the time 1080p whenever I'm not recording. If I uh, wanted to buy the Elgato 60, I just use the standard Elgato 4 gigabyte capture card. Well, it'll... It, it's a lot yeah, less of a, a hassle for me. I get my graphical fidelity, and at the same time, you get to see the game exactly as I see it. If you don't have it yet. Elite Dangerous is still cheaper than Steam right now. It was, uh, as I make this video, it's about uh, $45 on Steam right now because they're doing like a 30% discount. 
it's still cheaper on Xbox Live. So make your choice whatever you want. Of course, the PC version is going to have much more mods, but on price alone, on price alone, the, that's what really grabbed me. I'm more or less getting the same package. This game is wonderfully optimized, even though there's still some work that needs to be done. Needs to be done. The game is still enjoyable enough for me. Still nice and easy to, to maneuver around. Ah, that was fast. Type 6s go down pretty quickly. Oh. Alright, I'll point in the weapons. Firing. Oh, he's running. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's gonna run. He's gonna run. Oh, you fuck! So afterwards, after I uh, get enough money to get that discovery scanner, I mean, I'm basically gonna unequip all of my cargo racks. If I, if I really want to, I guess still go cargo, but it would really serve no purpose if I'm going out there doing some pure exploration. So I get rid of the cargo racks and basically uh, ensure that I'm topped up on fuel tanks. I got fairly decent fuel capacity, but you could always use a little more. You never know when you're going to need it. Where is everyone? Check this out. The debug camera actually exists in the Xbox version. I did not know that this was a thing. I thought it was strictly only for the PC version. Look, there I am right there. Sitting right in the driver's seat. So let's get a nice screenshot going here. I want to get awesome shot of my Cobra and Alpha Centauri in the background. Oh, that's gorgeous. Just got to finagle it a little bit. The controls are a little wonky. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right here. Oh. Nice. Nice. I like it. Anyways, let's get back in there. Nope, wrong. There we go. Can't believe I missed that shot at point blank range. Well, not that time. Okay, so now we're going to have ourselves a little turning battle here. Wow. Wow. I guess not. Target destroyed. Money for nothing. Federal fighters engaging with uh, some, uh, obviously, the seedier parts of society. Bacon! I'm about to make some bacon. Fire upon that man. Good. This little coup de gras. Just the shields are, are... It's nothing. Nothing! It's worth nothing to me. Shields oh! Taking damage. You little smartass. So, okay. I'm going backwards again. That's my bane again. What's hitting me? Not good. 50% hull? I'm still not worried. I'm not worried. Not yet. This reminds me of a time when I was uh, trying to smuggle some stuff. Picked up some illegal goods in the system not too long ago. I was slapped with a fine. Whoa! Now I know what was shooting at me. Alright, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Get me out! Get me out! I'm not gonna last against a vulture. Four, three, I'm running. I'm a coward. One. But at least I'm gonna live. Up. There we are. Fairly close to the opening. At least I'm pointing in more or less the right direction. I can cover some serious distance with this. Okay, let's request... 
docking. I got pretty good at, um, I got pretty good at using the hot buttons there, using the screen to go look around instead of the, um, instead of like using the, this, something like this to, to activate it. You want to make sure that if you're driving a Cobra, you make sure that you're all lined up. Oh yeah, what I was going to say is I was doing some smuggling. And I was coming in pretty fast. Uh, I managed to do some of the running, but I forgot to turn all my other systems up. So I was suffering from e-heat damage and going at 300 odd uh, uh, meters a second. I barreled straight into the docking bay. Went straight to the end. Hit that thing right there and managed to get out with about... Oh, well, I like to go forward. Thank you very much. Managed to get out with only 12% hull. Let me tell you something. If I had hit that and exploded, I would have lost everything. I didn't have enough money to restart. I would have had to declare bankruptcy if I had suffered just a bit more damage than I ended up having. Engines disengaged. That was scary. Probably the scariest moment I ever had in Elite because I don't know what will happen if I declare bankruptcy. Probably do something very bad. I would probably have to lose all my ships or uh, something like that. Oh, I can redeem bounties? Did I mention how much I like going at hyperspace here? How photogenic the game is. No Man's Sky might certainly have the visual effect, but this has the... I don't know, that realistic aspect. That if you were going at this speed, this is pretty much what you would see. More or less. But you know what gets me, though, is that we're traveling at faster than the speed of light. Yet, when you get closer to the planets, they don't actually adjust to their actual positions. I, I know this is nitpicking and all that, but... Like, imagine if you were going from one side of a system to the other. I mean, planets move. Same thing with the star systems. But you would think that going at the speed of light, the light from that station would actually catch up to you. Frickin'. Oh, I missed. The light from that... The light would actually... catch up to you. And, uh, well, things would move. I would imagine that's what that, what that would be like, because, um... Well, it's superluminal travel, right? I mean, it's hard to explain. But... Yeah, everything seems to be, be moving in the same frame of reference no matter where you are in a star system. It, it's not exactly scientifically accurate, but something that I can understand is not really the point of the game at that point. That would be interesting, though, wouldn't it? To be, uh, to travel from one side of a star system to the other, where if you're looking at a planet, you get two images. A projected place where the planet actually is in its orbital path and a projection of the planet where you see it and slowly and slowly they come more into focus I suppose you can also use that to gauge how far away the planet is if you're traveling at, at uh, superluminal speeds just a thought and it's something to pass the time as I uh, travel the distance here All right, I'm going for it. All points of weapons. Firing! Oh, wow, he's moving fast. All right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to manipulate the sticks here to make sure that I can get underneath them. If I can lance them with my cannons, it would really cause a good bit of damage as well. I gotta watch this here. Charge detected. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Not this time, bitch. Target destroyed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Federal ships are appearing as green in my sensors. This guy's wanted. Torbjorn! I wonder if this guy is a shrine to Odin. 
like in the back of his ship. I know it looks like I'm firing in this, but if I take my trigger off the, um, take my trigger off him, it means that I'll have to restart the scan because through my wisdom, as I said, I map my kill scanner to the secondary fire, which is also the same uh, fire group as my cannons. So, unfortunately, I'm expending ammo as I'm banking around. Approaching 50% hull, what you gonna do, Torbjorn? What you gonna do? How you gonna play this? Well, uh, there it is. Let's see if I can get the final hit on him. Gotcha! Oh! Walked away with 2% health. That's alright, we'll fix that up. No, no, he's mine. Get the killing blow, I don't know. Whoa, what the f- What did you do? So who else is being shot at here? I don't understand, who's being shot at? But wait, 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 what's go- What the hell's being go What's going on here? <laughs> I got federal starships shooting other federal starships. I don't know what the hell is going on. This is confusing me. It's blue on blue. Uh, now the anacondas are getting involved. I got pythons all over the place here. People are shooting at people. I don't know why they're shooting people. Because my sensors are telling me these are all... Cops shooting cops! Please don't tell me these are the same guys. I hope this is a legitimate fight. Nope, nope. It's, uh... Two cops duking it out. For whatever reason. Ugh. This is a weird star system. That's, uh, the... Strangest thing I've seen this game thus far. The AI seems to have uh, completely collapsed in on itself, firing on friendly targets. Neither of them has a wanna bounty on them, so I don't know what's going on. You could tell me that perhaps maybe one accidentally attacked another, but I have no idea what happened. Why can't I scan this guy yet? Yeah. Guess they're still going at it, huh? It's like a dance recital over here. No, wait a second. Are those two different guys? Those are two different guys? It can't be right. I have two entirely different set of cops firing on uh, two entirely different set of cops. So this is just like a, a thing that's going on. Oh, please tell me these guys are actually hostiles and that there isn't just some weird sort of psychotic strain going on in Bernard Star. Nope, they're not hostiles. This is just fucked now. <laughs> it's just screwed up. Thank you. <sighs> Someone to shoot who could just be legitimately evil. Under attack. Come on, Nick. Show me what you got. Don't be a fool. Target shields online. Cannons very effective against hull. Kinetic damage, not to mention explosive energy, really comes together nicely. You have been taught well, my friend. Ah, but you know what? Strength of the gun. Can't really compare to a nice, uh, couple fancy flips. Anakin Skywalker, you are not. How's it going, you two? Having fun? I think the goal right now is to get a hundred thousand credits in bounty. 
in this system alone. The great thing is that the kill scanner also allows me to get additional credit everywhere else. So, it's actually he's actually got a cre um, bounty in the Alpha Centauri, though I don't really need to do that. 66,000 here in Bernard Star alone. What's going on here? I don't know who's fighting who. I'm not close enough to this guy. Well, let's get a little closer. Let's back off a little bit. Thank you. So we gotta sacrifice a few rounds in order to get that kill. That kill, uh... I wish I knew how to cycle my, uh, firing groups. I could probably do it pretty easily, but I'm probably not smart enough to figure it out. Oh, we're doing that! Oh, not likely. You are a cobra. You must have a nice big bounty on you. I got him! Just before he jumped away. Yes! Nice. Target shields online. Got the assist on that one. Target destroyed. More, more, more. Wow. Who the f Who's this guy? Uh, well, he's soon to be dead, I guess. Target destroyed. What a waste of syllables. Okay, let's uh lock into the Levi Strauss installation. Seven light seconds away. I probably saw this planet out there. Yeah, this planet was nice and close by. So let's try the same technique as before. It's five days that that voucher is going to be sitting in my account. At least until I, you know, bite it and lose all that money. But I kind of made up for it in that I made off like a bandit. Oh, see, uh, my approach is wrong on this one. So I'm going to need to come close to this. Uh... Perfect. Nice. Yeah, I'm backwards, so I need to come around here. Nice to see that corrugated roofs are being used in space. You know, you have that little design element. It's uh, timeless. And works very well in zero gravity. Back up. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Not bad. Still gotta get used to the Cobra, but not bad. Alright. Let's cash it all in. First of all, I'm going to uh, reload everything, get myself some nice fuel, and collect... On the heads of the guilty. 131,000. Hey, that's nice for me. Is there anything else I can do? No local security office. I just gotta check to see where else I have to go for some cash. And probably go out there and claim on some more scumbags. If I ever find myself in the Alliance of the Empire, I can collect on them too. Anyways, that's the end of this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I know I certainly did. I know I enjoyed making all that money. I'm going to see if I can make a little bit more before I take off. Got to purchase that uh, intermediate scanner so that I can actually begin what I bought this game to do, to explore the universe. And we may just do that yet. And I might still have a little left over to cover the insurance costs. Hey, and thanks for enjoying the video, and I'll see you around.